Hello everybody, um, I thought I'd just give you a quick spin round of my latest, been working on this one, this is uh, another Victorix Cavalry Man, Gallic Warrior, uh, that I'm doing as a commission for a friend of mine, so yeah this is just going to be a quick little video guys, just to sort of show you how it turned out. Quite pleased with how the face turned out. Let's see if I can get it in focus. It came out okay. Split shaft's a bit bent there by the look of things. But hey, that's what happens sometimes. Especially with plastics and resins. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the horse was copied from a photo that my friend sent me. And as I've probably said once or twice in the past, I'm not exactly the world's best at painting in horses, but hey, it'll do. The usual sort of standard technique that I do for doing chain mail, which I've done in one of my tutorial videos. Same with the shield and the leather. They're both in my tutorial videos. There's nothing really different there to what I've done in my tutorial videos. A few more of these to do for him. And then uh, that's that little commission done. And I'll be moving on to other things. But yeah, I've quite enjoyed these. You know? And uh, it might look a little bit glossy on camera, but it's not actually glossy. In real life guys it's quite matte I think it's where the lights hitting it got artificial light in here and uh, that's kind of hitting it and making it look a little bit shiny the, the horse's coat but um, off camera it's very matte indeed actually uh, I will be doing a video on how I get bronze I've been asked a couple of times sort of um, I would get my bronze effect and I'll probably do one of those this week actually. Not really had a lot of time to be honest. I've just been working on other bits and pieces as well. Not figure painting but um, other bits and pieces around the house. But overall yeah I'm, I'm quite pleased with him. I'm still working on my flesh tones guys. I'm not happy enough to put up a video yet on, on how I achieve my flesh tones. Not until I'm happy enough with it. I mean, it looks okay, but I'm still sort of learning. Still sort of getting back into the swing of things. I've only been painting again for three years now. Um, I used to do a lot of painting sort of back in the day. But um, I gave up and I sort of quit painting for quite a while. Tried to earn money from it and it didn't really work out. And I needed to go and get a normal job. So I had to quit figure painting. So yeah, I've, done, I've only been back into it for about three years now. And uh, my painting's still not of a level that I'm happy enough with. So still learning, still learning. But get, getting the hang of things again. I mean, it was a case of like not knowing what sort of manufacturers produce what sort of inks and stuff like that and then buying up loads of inks and things and trying them out and seeing if they matched up with the stuff that I was using in the past and it's all been sort of trial and error and yeah whereas I'm, I'm reasonably pleased with the flesh tones that I get they're not oh, I don't know they're not as good as what I want them to be still looks nice though don't get me wrong it still looks okay I'm still quite pleased with it but not pleased enough yet Um, things like plumes and stuff like that's really easy guys it's just washes it's just base coat and washes most of my techniques are just base coats and washes anyway there's nothing really spectacular highlighting it's just knowing where to put the highlights yeah I know it's working out these little techniques and the reason that I didn't use my um, my new turntable this week was because I wanted to sort of like, you know, 
show you the different angles and, and bits and pieces. It's pretty difficult to sort of film that on my turntable. But overall, I think he came out okay. I'm quite pleased with him. You know, I, th I think my, my customer's quite pleased with him. So yeah, this gets sent off tomorrow. So, you know, I had to do a quick video this evening. Before he goes, otherwise I wouldn't get a chance to show him to you guys. But like I say, three more, three more cavalry. And then um, I've got some other things lined up that I'm going to be doing. Probably more commission work, but I don't know, I might have a couple of uh, different figures apart from Galax. Fancy something different from Galax. I mean, I've, I've been doing Galax for a little while now. And uh, I want to paint some different heads. Yeah, no, I want to paint some different faces and that. Must be about the third or fourth one I've done at this this head. <laughs> I just want to do something different. So, yeah, but overall, yeah, if you like it, give us a shout. Tell us, yeah, that looks all right, John. Yeah, no, and yeah, I know I can. We I should be weathering it up. I should be putting stones on the base and all that sort of thing. But um, I don't know. It just took long enough as it was, to be honest. It was kind of a, a bit of a labour, this one. Especially with the horse and, and things like that. I don't usually like doing sort of horses, as you know. But he came out okay. Quite pleased. Came out, looks alright. Bronze came out okay. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward stuff. But anyway... If you like it, like I say, give me a shout. And, uh, yeah, please leave a comment. And uh, take care, and I shall speak to you soon when I've done the next one. Bye-bye.